Welcome to Informatica video KB series. My name is Neeraj and today we will see how we can create SQS connection in Informatica Cloud Real-Time ICRT. So we will uh, discuss a little bit about SQS, what SQS is. SQS stands for Simple Queue Service and Amazon SQS is a web service that gives you access to a message queue that can be used to store message while waiting for a computer to process. Amazon SQS is a distributed queue system that enables web service application to quickly and reliably queue messages that one component of the application generates to be consumed by the another component. So SQS uh, is very helpful for a distributed system. Uh, suppose uh, you have a web service uh, which uh, zips a file so a user comes to your website and he uploads a file and your web service just zips the file and send it back to the user so in this uh, there can be two components first is the user coming to your website and uploading the file and the second will be the application server which will be zipping the file. So first is the web server uh, which helps you to come to the website and upload the file, upload the user file and second is the application server that actually does the work. So what happens is that when the user, so suppose there are multiple users uploading the file at the same time. So what will happen here is that the files will go to the queue they will be queued there waiting for the application server to work on it. So if, if the application server is busy, then it will be queued in the SQS. So the next point says that uh, a queue is a temporary repository for messages that are waiting for the processing. So in this, in our case, the files which users have uploaded to be zipped, if the application server is busy, then it will be queued and the queue will act as a temporary repository. So let's move on with the steps we have to follow here. The steps we have to follow are we will create an SQS queue in AWS. Then we will create a new user, obtain access token and security access key, and then we will create the connection. So I will go to Informatica. Uh, let me go to AWS first. I'll keep, I'll click on SQS and we will create our queue. So get started. Queue name I will say infa and I will go with all defaults and then I will say create queue. So our queue is being created. Let me check the permission. Let's configure a permission. So here uh, it will ask you for account number for which you want to give the access. I'll click on everybody just for the demo purposes. And actions you can from the box you can choose what actions you want. I'll just click on all. I'll click on add permission. I'll show you how to get the account number. If you want, you can con you can give access to particular accounts. You can get the account number from here. Uh, go to support, support center. And I think on the left hand side, we get this. Yeah. So here you get the account number. If you want to configure it, uh, if you want to give access to particular accounts, you can go and get the account number and give the permissions. I, am, I have just chosen everyone just for the demo purposes. So I'll go to my SQS. So permission has been created. It looks good. Let me go ahead and create a user. To access this SQS, I'll click on users, I'll click on new user, infa, SQS, user, create. We will get our access key and security access key. You can download the credentials. I'll 
copy this let me just download it so we have to use these details when we start creating the connection okay let me just minimize this we have uh, created our sqs we have created the user so we can go to informatica cloud now and create our connection in icrt so from design i'm going to service and processes and i'm waiting for it to come up once it is all right so we will create a connection here Close all these things. Okay, I'll click on this connection. I'll choose SQS connection name infa SQS. Choose my runtime environment. And here we have to provide the access key which we got. This is my access ID. I'll copy this. Go back. Control V. Take this security access key. Copy it. Paste this. SQS endpoint. For that, we have to go to AWS SQS. go into this so this is our endpoint copy I'll go to cloud I'll go to cloud okay let me just test the connection So the connection was created I will click on save and the connection will get saved so uh, please let us know if you have any feedbacks you can write into us at support videos at informatica.com or you can check our Twitter handle twitter.com slash infosupport thank you for today